Hi guys and welcome to our online grinds here at the Academy. My name is Tracy and I'm going to be taking you through your higher level leave insert geography grinds. So guys, for this course what we're going to be starting with is a brief overview of the actual exam structure and where your marks are going to come from. So you're going to have a little sheet with you, one of your first sheets, just a single sheet there, and I'm going to take you through what we're actually, where your marks are coming from, where you're going to get them from, what everything is worth, etc etc now one thing i will say is take out an exam paper and as we're doing this go with the exam paper look at what i'm talking about what am i talking about where am i getting these questions from you need to have this beside you so guys your exam structure your exam is split into two parts okay you have your main exam which is going to be june 2021 and you have your field investigation your field investigation is something done separate which i'll speak about in just a moment so your exam, your actual written exam, which is June 2021, is a two hour and 50 minute exam. So two hours and 50 minutes. So just under that three hour marker. Now, and let me tell you, that is a really tight three hours or two hours and 50 minutes. Your written exam is worth 400 marks. So 80% of your final grade. Now, that is a lot, but you have to remember there as well, 80% of your final grade, which means the other 20% is actually coming from your field study. So in that exam, what you have is you have two main sections, okay? So you have section one, which I have here. So if you open your exam paper there, your section one is your short questions. Now, in your exam, the short questions, you have to answer 10 out of 12 short questions. So you'll see each of them is generally on a page on its own, the first around 12 pages on your exam, and they're worth eight marks each. So in total, this is going to be worth 80 marks. So when you do all 10 of these, this is going to be worth 80 marks on your paper. And here you spend a maximum, I would say, of 20 minutes. So 20 minutes on this section. So 80 marks, 20 minutes maximum. Now, 80 marks means that this is actually worth 20% of your written paper, of that 400 marks. So your short questions, and a lot of people start their short questions and do short questions, say, oh, they're easy, they're very, very simple. They're not, okay? So you have to be working on these to absolutely nail them, and that's what we're going to do over the next couple of weeks, 20%. 10 out of 12, answer all 10, your examiner is going to take or apologies, answer all 12, your examiner is going to take the best 10. So the 10 which you have the highest marks from. So one more time, answer 10 out of the 12, eight marks each, 80 marks in total, maximum 20 minutes, particularly if you're someone going for that H1, and 20% of your final grade. This section is going to focus on two parts of your structured and long questions. So once you get past your short questions, what you have after that is your structured and essay style questions. So these are the long questions that everybody talks about and everybody kind of fears. So here what you have is you have a couple of different sections for it to be exact. Your first two, your physical and region, are often referred to as your core. So when you get into that section, your first three questions, question one, two and three, are always physical geography questions. So one, two, and three are always physical geography. Now, what you have to do out of each, or for one, two, and three, is you have to choose one question and one question only, and answer the entirety of that question. Now, they all have the exact same structure. They all have a part A, a part B, and a part C. Your part A is worth 20 marks. Your part B, is worth 30 marks and your part C is worth 30 marks. So for example, let's say you pick question one and you're going to answer part A, B and C for that. Part A is worth 20 marks. It's kind of like a short style question, a couple of little questions on one particular topic. That's worth 20 marks and should take you a maximum of five minutes. So make sure you're noting that down for yourself there. Your part B and your part C are both your essay style questions. And what you need there is you need to give yourself a maximum of 15 minutes per question. So here, 15 minutes per each of them essays. So five, 15, 15, 
5 minutes for your part A, 20 marks, 5 minutes, 30 minutes for your part B and C, which means 50 minutes. Now what that means is this section is worth 80 marks in total and it's going to take you a maximum of 35 minutes. Now guys, please don't be sitting at home thinking, how can I write an essay in 15 minutes? You have to. 15 minutes is the maximum you can take there.